What is up guys? So welcome again to Mythical Monday. So last week we talked about the early years of Heracles and now we are going to read about the sins of Heracles, the reason he had to do the 12 labors. So we're going to read about that today and then in next week's episode start going into the 12 labors and what happened afterwards. So again, for those that know and don't know, this is from Epic Tales, Great Myth and Tales. So this chapter is called Heracles and Eurystheus. And it says that in now it will be necessary to retrace our steps. Just before the birth of Heracles, Zeus and the assembly of the gods declared that the child who should be born on that day to the house of Perseus should rule over his race. When Era heard her lord's boastful announcement, she knew well that it was for the child of the hated Alchemini that this brilliant destiny was designed. And in order to rob the son of her rival of his rights, she called to her aid the goddess Eletheia, who retarded the birth of Heracles and caused his cousin Eurystheus, another grandson of Perseus, to precede him into the world. And thus, as the, world, as the word of the mighty Zeus was irrevocable, Heracles became the subject and servant of his cousin Eurystheus. When, after his splendid victory, the, famed Heracles spread th the fame of Heracles spread throughout Greece, Eurystheus, who had become the king, was jealous of the reputation of the young hero asserted his rights and commanded him to undertake for him various difficult tasks. But the proud spirit of the hero rebelled against the humiliation, and he was about to refuse compliance when Zeus appeared to him and desired him not to rebel against the fates. So there's a story there. You can't change fate. You have to accept fate is the moral lesson is what is trying to teach us. Or what is going to happen, basically, is going to happen. You can't just deny it and put it off. So, Heracles now repaired to Delphi in order to consult the oracle and received the answer that after performing ten tasks for his cousin, Eurystheus, his servitude would be at an end. So, soon afterwards, Heracles fell into the state of deep melancholy, and through the influences of his irreverent enemy, the goddess Era, the despondency developed into raving madness, in which condition he killed his own children. So when he, when he at length regained his reason, he was so horrified and grieved at what he had done that he had shut himself up in his chamber and avoided all, avoided all intercourse with men. But in the, his loneliness and seclusion, the convention that work would be the best means of procuring oblivion of the past decided him to enter without delay upon the task appointed to him by Eurystheus. So that is the setup to his trials or the 12 tasks of Heracles. And so that's what's gonna be coming up in the next few weeks is that he is going to atone for his grave mistakes that he has done. So we're gonna talk in the next few weeks about the Nemean lion, the hydra, the horned hind, and so forth, the Eremanthian boar. Um, this will probably be broken up into several episodes, but it's going to eventually lead to his redemption in the death of Heracles and so forth. So that was it, just to set up. I don't really want to get into it too much because, um, like I said, it gets pretty lengthy. Probably had to break it up, but that's the setup to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next week. Bye.